Yo, hello everyone. Do you need a system for managing tasks with Zuhu CRM? In this video, I will show you how to create tasks in Zuhu CRM in 2023. You will learn how to assign tasks, set due dates, and add task details. And of course, track the task progress. So, let's get started. Start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, once you are on the Zuhu official dashboard, let's say that you have logged in already to your account. So the next thing to do is simply head up to the products through here, as you can see. And then all you have to do is simply go to project management over here. So project management, click on it, and then you'll find here projects, sprint and back tracker. I'm going to click on projects. So now they are going to take us to the page where we can see the project. So here I'm going to click on access Zuho projects through this button. And now all we have to do is get started for free. And they will take us to project management of Zuho. So now they will give us literally every single feature that they have in here. First of all, we need to fix this problem of um, the time so all we have to do is let's choose the industry etc so let's choose here the industry that we are working with uh, let's say for example we're working with it so it hardware it related services uh, contact number we can put any number so i'm going to put mine real quick here we go and then interested enterprise trial okay let's choose yes and then inside of the team you can simply just choose the size of your team and then click on get started once you're done they will take you to the next step. So let's see if they are going to take us. Here we are. And now here they are telling you if you can, if you have any like other applications, you can import the data from the other applications to here. If you would like to explore simple project to create your own project or product store. So I'm going to go with this one, create own project. And let's give it a name. So let's name it, for example, test video and click on add. Now we have created our first project on project.zuho.com. Now let's wait for it. Until it is opened. So here it is. Let's click on next, finish, and here we are. So here basically you can literally fix the tasks. So let me just dismiss this for the notifications. And here you can add, remove, and like organize your task as you'd like. So let me show you an example of how to do it. First of all, all you have to do is click on add a task to create a new task. Second thing, give it a name. So for example, uh, read the book. So here we are, we have written a name. Here description, uh, read 10 pages of the Bible, for example. And here, task list, general. And let's go all the way down. Here you can see other informations, for example, the owner, uh, associated team, so to which team you wanted to give this task, and when do you want it to be started, and when do you want it to be do at. So here you can fix literally everything about it. Here you can choose the priority, if it is important, medium, or uh, not important. And here the task, if you want to tag someone, and etc. Reminder, reference, and the billing type. Let's click on add for now. And here it is. So now this is the task which I have created, which is read the book. Let me close it real quick. So this is the task. Once the person who's doing it gonna end doing it or start doing it, simply you just have to drag it. The person will have to drag it into the progress. So this is will be automatically done by the person. But in case you had, let's say that you had a start date and due date, this task will start moving like alone so for example if it has achieved the due date it will be here or here since uh, the due date has arrived but otherwise if it is not uh, located by you not uh, made by you to choose the date uh, it will be the stick where it is being at the moment so guys let's try this out with another task so let's click the same time in here at task and now i'm going to be more detailed so i'm going to give the time and everything so for example here let's say that i want them to program uh, a game a 2d game 2d game okay and for the description i want a, um, a car 
racing game uh, with enemies and allies and a simple story mode with a, a co-op mode so for example here i'm going to keep it as it is if you'd like to drop any files you can add them here so here what you are going to do is associate it to a team for now i don't really have any team in my account so let's keep it empty uh, here we can select the owner so i'm going to choose myself work hours so i'd like them to work for example on this project for seven hours per day and here we go so let's choose seven hours per day uh, done and here let's select the date for example to start from tomorrow and i want it to be done by the end of the month as an example priority very high and for the tags we can add tags but it's not really necessary reminder uh, daily by 12 uh, a.m and set a reminder uh, and finally click on add and this is how it look gonna look like let me just close this real quick and this is the difference between a task with details with time with answers with a priority and the difference between a task which is totally normal so this task is better than the others and it's gonna be always above the others even though if I create now for example a new task which is gonna be normal task it's not gonna be above it it's gonna be below it even though I created it right after I created this one and swapping between the tasks as you can see are very easy you can show options, you can remove options. Uh, if I'd like to move this over here, I can do it. If I'd like to even um, click here and see the details of this task and actually change anything if I'd like to do later, I can here add comments, uh, substack, log hours, documents, forums. I can literally edit everything in here uh, for the users and for the team. So it they can see it and once i've done any kind of uh, change in here they will be notified here you can see the comments you can add an attachment uh, add like a start timer so here once i click on it so here what it means that it's counting how many hours i'm working so here so i can make sure that my team is actually working seven hours per day if they don't click here and start working that will not be the the like showing for me and that means that they have they are doing a bad job at their work so it is very very secured uh, for you and for the team so everyone does his job and everyone will be uh, knowing what they are allowed to do and what they are not so here the timer will be uh, shown as well so you don't really have to go inside and finally with it reaches seven hours they will tell you that you have to stop or you can stop working for today so yeah guys that was it for in general for this video thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial